I want to talk about travel security now. Uh, travel security is a bit of a hot topic, and in some ways, traveling, uh, everybody travels, so it's something everybody needs to be aware of. The basics of travel security is decent planning, preparation, and working out your logistics. People put an emphasis on dealing with crime, dealing with terrorism, but to me, you're more likely to miss the flight, forget your passport, do something silly, rather than be caught up in a terrorist incident. But depending where you're going, all that needs to be taken into consideration. The first thing with any security program is sorting out your threat assessments. So for travel security, you need to sort out the threat assessments on the location you're going, any locations you're passing through, um, and identify all the potential problems that could happen. These days with the internet, that's a lot, lot easier than it used to be. So again, do your research before you go anywhere. And when you identify any issues, work out how you can deal with those issues. Um, common issues, medical insurance. A lot of people coming from Europe don't, where medical care is free, don't realize they need medical insurance in a lot of places. If not, you're not gonna get treated. And make sure you've got the right medical insurance that's actually gonna be recognized in that location. Um, work out what to do or have in your mind what to do if you lose your documents, if you lose your passport. What are you going to do if your flight's cancelled? Um, I think a couple of summers ago, a load of airlines went bankrupt and people were stranded in different locations. Okay, do you have enough money to get back? Do you have... Are your credit cards going to be recognized and going to work in those locations? Um, so again, it's all, to me, travel security is about planning and preparation and considering what could go wrong and having a response for those issues. Now about crime and terrorism, well, you've seen that recently there was an attack in Turkey. You could be on that street and you're not going to know there's going to be an IED on that street. It's one of those things you have to deal with. There's no magic fix to it. It's just understanding that if something does go wrong, knowing how to get out of the area to a safe location, etc., etc. I got information on that articles on that online on my blog and also on on the risk inc blog and also in my books so again it's um it's planning and preparation and planning for the worst in those situations what i tell people if you're going to tourist areas be aware of minor criminals pickpockets thieves um you think about it the criminals are not going to rob people in the hood because generally the people in the hood have got no money and they'll stab them, shoot them, etc. But if you go to a tourist area, you're full of people that don't know, the tourist areas are full of people that don't know their way around, don't know the local language, don't know the local culture, and they're carrying around with them money, valuables, passports, etc. So be extra vigilant when you're in the tourist areas. Uh, be very vigilant of pickpockets. Be very vigilant of people trying to scam you. And even down to do not accept drinks from people you don't know because they could be drugged, etc. Yeah, would people think about date rape, but also in a lot of places, uh, the criminals will use drug drinks, a lot of time given by kids, uh, sold by kids, uh, just to knock out people so they can rob them. In a lot of places, people don't earn as much money as they do in the West. So if somebody can rob you for 50 bucks, they made a good day's wage. So be very careful in tourist areas. So a lot of travel security is just common sense, planning, preparation, ensuring you got your documents, ensuring you make your flights, ensuring you have procedures in place for if things go wrong. And if you think about things beforehand, if they go wrong, you've already got a plan. So you know what to do. You shouldn't panic. You should uh, just go straight on to plan B and sort things out. As I said, I've got books online on how to deal with IEDs and terrorist attacks and also on travel security. So they're all on Amazon. If you've got any questions, feel free to contact me if you're connected with me on social media.